So if you want to start a faceless YouTube channel but don't know where to start, or if you are overwhelmed with different AI platforms and subscriptions and don't know where to start and how to sustain, I've got a solution for you. Creating and editing videos is a time-consuming process and I've personally spent thousands of hours in doing this. But now with the evolution of AI, it's easy for you to create and edit videos. I'm going to show you a really good AI video editing software, which can do AI text-to-video, AI text-based editing, AI co-pilot editing, AI color grading, and also contains AI thumbnail generation and much more. Not only that, it can also do AI vocal removal, AI music generator, and contains AI voice denoiser. Introducing Wondershare Filmora 13. Let's have a look at all of its AI features and practically test them. So when you install Wondershare Filmora 13, you will be greeted with this screen. You can also slide through different features from here for quick access. So we are on the main editing panel of Wondershare Filmora 13, and here I will just import my footage in the media library and then drag and drop it onto the project timeline to edit. So the first AI feature of Wondershare Filmora 13 is AI Music Generator. Right now this video does not have any sound or music, but what if I want to generate my own AI music? I can do so by simply clicking on the audio tab at the top, then click on AI Music from the left sidebar. After that, click on Start button to open up the AI Music Generator. Here I get to find the mood of my AI music. Let's say I want epic music. Set the music duration and set the generated music count as 2. This will generate two different music tracks for me. Now click on the Start button. After a few seconds, here are my two tracks which I can download and listen to. save an AI generated music, click on this download icon. To use that music in your project, click on this plus icon. But you can also access this downloaded music by clicking on generated option at the left sidebar. The next feature of Wondershare Filmora 13 is AI Copilot Editing. It is located under the preview window right here. By clicking on this icon, you can access a Filmora Copilot window. Think of it as ChatGPT, but it works as a video editing assistant. Here you can already see the default prompts for you to try out and it will help you in every possible way to find and use any specific tool designed for your tasks. You can also write your own prompt to get some help. For example, I want to change my video's color to black tone. Here responds with a short guide on how to achieve this. This really saves some time. And here I can follow that guide and make changes accordingly. The next AI feature in Wondershare Filmora 13 is the AI Vocal Remover. To show you an example, here I have this music in my project timeline which contains some vocals as well. Let's say I want to separate the music and vocals. I can simply do this by right-clicking on this audio file and select AI Vocal Remover. After a few seconds of processing, here I can see three different audio tracks. The top one is the original audio file. The, storms we chase and leave. the middle one is the vocals only. Us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And the bottom track contains just music and beats. I can easily use any of them in my video project. Another cool AI feature in Wondershare Filmware 13 is the AI text-to-video feature. To access this feature, you can select it from the main window when you start Filmora. This opens up the AI text-to-video screen. In the video text, I can put my video script on which I want to create the video. Then select the text language from the dropdown. Choose the aspect ratio. In my case, I chose 9 into 16 because I want to create a portrait video for Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. For the AI voiceover in my video, I'll just select a profile from here. After that, click on text to video button. After a few seconds, this tool will not only generate an AI video, but will also open up the project's editing timeline for me to make any changes in the video and text. This is really cool because it's very convenient and easy to edit. Hey everyone, here are some quick tips on how to reduce belly fat. First of all, I'd advise you to start keto diet. I love how it separates the voiceover segments along with the videos to match each sentence. Another cool AI feature in Wondershare Filmora 13 is the AI text-based editing. When you select this tool from the main window, it will ask you to select a video from your device. In text-based editing, you can select the video language from the drop-down, then click on OK button, and it will start transcribing the video. This is very helpful as you can edit your video based on the sentences and words. When I delete any specific word or sentences from the text, it will also cut and remove that part from the video file for me. These three dots in the transcript represent the silences in your video. You can click on this button, delete all silent clips, and it will remove all the silences in the video. Once you're finished with the changes, click on export to timeline button. 
and here you can add further effects and apply new changes to your video project. Another AI feature in Wondershare Filmora 13 is the AI Thumbnail Maker. When you are done editing your video project, next step is to export the video by clicking on the Export button at the top right corner. Here you will see this thumbnail section at the left side, and when you click on the Edit button, it will automatically find the most interesting frames in your video project. If you don't like these thumbnails, you can also move this playhead to find a perfect frame from your video. Next, click on the Edit button, and here you can edit your thumbnail. You can add custom text as well as images into your thumbnail. But there are also lots of thumbnail templates which are categorized accordingly. Simply select a template, and then customize it such as size, style, outline, edge feather, shadow, and much more. When you are done, click on the Save button to save this thumbnail and export your video. Next AI feature in Filmora 13 is the AI Smart Cutout and AI Masking. Here on my project timeline, I have a background footage, which is at the bottom, and a foreground footage above it. Let's say I want to remove the background of the upper footage. Simply click on that video to select it, then go to Video tab, and click on AI Tools and activate Smart Cutout. Then click on this button to open up the Smart Cutout window. Move the playhead to the beginning of your footage. By using this smart brush tool, draw a single line across the main subject to isolate it from the background. You can also change the brush size from the right side panel. This blue color means that the subject is selected. You can also change this overlay color as well. To clean up rough edges, you can select this eraser tool. Now remove the brush strokes from the edges where you think there's some extra background selected. To clean up the cutout, play with this edge feather slider to refine the edges. Now all you need to do is to click this green button to let the AI handle the cutout from your whole video. This will automatically create keyframes on the timeline. You can scrub through the footage to see if there are any imperfections, and then choose the eraser or brush tool to refine them. Then click on that green button again to regenerate the keyframes from that frame forward. Once done, click on the save button to export it to the timeline. And for the AI masking under video tab, here we have the mask option. There are lots of different shapes of maskings and you can also draw your own custom mask with this pen tool, but there is also an AI masking feature. On this dropdown, and click on subject. When you click on the detect subject here, it will automatically show the masking points here in the preview window. Now I can simply create keyframes for my logo to change its position, but it will be masked out when it comes near to the masked subject, since it is placed below the masked footage. Another cool feature in Filmora 13 is the AI portrait. To access it, simply go in the Effects tab, click on Video Effects, and then select AI Portrait. This is really great for creating music effects videos as well as TikToks. To apply an AI Portrait effect on your video, just drag and drop it on the footage in the timeline. You can also customize the effect from the editing panel to make any further adjustments. Now you might be wondering, what about the AI image generation? Well, Filmora 13 can do that as well. Simply go to Stock Media tab and click on AI Image. Then click on the Start button to open up the AI Image Generation panel. Here you can write your prompt in the natural language, set an aspect ratio for the image, and choose an image style from here. Click on Start Creating button to let the AI generate the image. So these are some really cool AI features of Wondershare Filmora 13. I think it's a complete package of all the AI tools needed for creating content. Try out Filmora 13 for free by clicking on the link in my video description and see it for yourself. If this video was helpful, please like this video and subscribe if you are new here, and I'll see you in the next one.